It just occurred to me that we never put anything on TikTok about the Big Cat Public Safety Act. Well, how about we ask Sheriff Lutz from Zanesville to talk about the impact of the bill on first responders? That makes perfect sense. Take it away, Sheriff Lutz. My name is Matt Lutz. Uh, I'm the sheriff of Muskingum County here in Zanesville, Ohio. Some of the things that come to mind when you're talking about the, uh, the Big Cat Public Safety Act is the fact that um, the farm that we had in our county, uh, this couple was allowed to uh, acquire and raise and breed um, a lot of exotic animals, uh, but mostly a, a lot of big cats, including um, African lions and Bengal tigers. They were keeping these uh, big cats in um, what I consider an oversized dog pen. And when somebody's allowed to do that, um, there are several issues that come up um, when you start talking about our community. And uh, the, the first thing is the safety of our community. Good evening. We begin tonight with a strange and sad story out of Zanesville, Ohio. It started with a local man known as something of an eccentric. He kept big exotic animals, the kind we see in zoos, until last night when he released the animals and took his own life. We have two reports tonight beginning at the scene. With you know, our deputies go through uh, immense training, a lot of different training on how to handle emergencies but handling exotic animals is not part of our training, N and neither should it be. Nine male lions, eight lionesses, three mountain lions, and 18 tigers. We don't go to the academy and get trained on how to deal with 300 pound Bengal tigers. Police responding in the dark to protect the families in the area had no choice but to draw their weapons and bring down the animals. The 48 dead animals include 18 endangered Bengal tigers. If, if we would have had kids killed in, in our community, um, this would have been a whole different matter and um, the, the trauma uh, would have been, you know, a thousand times more than what, than what it was. That's the whole key of why I'm supporting uh, the Big Cat Public Safety Act. This is one of the easiest things that could be done to try to prevent this from happening again. It keeps the environment safer for our public safety and for our community. And so um, it's, it's the law that has to pass. And this act will just give those public safety officials some, some uh, bite in, in it to be able to do something and to keep the animal owners in compliance and, and to keep them safe and in return keeping public safety uh, in our citizens safe.